Welcome to Anthony's Cross Thread Garage. Today we are getting back on the Studebaker. Uh, it's full of grease. We got to get it clean up. Got to get this motor and crane separated. It also needs to be cleaned up before we start working on them. I got to be able to mark on them. See the bolts and everything. Everything's covered in 40 years old grease or whatever. I need an engine stand for the motor here and right there is my motor stand uh, gotta get it cleaned out of this corner I got more LS stains just to put them on and also all this mess over here I gotta clean up so let's go ahead and start taking out the trash and getting this area cleaned up not a beautiful weather today. Not really. Now we'll go start taking the starter part to get this transmission separated so I can switch stuff around here. Oh god, this thing's heavy. All right, take my dust shield off here. So I can get to my bolts, my torque converter. Shine the rear man is pouring. All right, get that off. <clears throat> Get these out of my way too. There's a dang one. Oh, yeah. All right, flex like players loose. Start taking these bolts up for the bell housing. All right, I need to lower this train it back down on the ground. Uh, did some quick numbers and researching. This transmission is actually a flight automatic. It's not a power glide like I thought it was because first gear only works when you pull it down low it's actually the same transmission that's in my AMC Rambler it's parked outside so if I got a bad transmission on that I should be able to just swap this in here if I switch to bell housing Do you come on the door? yeah sure yeah. I think I need to work on the concrete I think yeah. alright see so how easy this comes off here I might have to knock on the uh, bell pins. Oh, damn. You can put the chalk on. I have to start working. How did it do it, Dad? What? You what? Did you hear that block? It's separated. All right, get the sword stand installed. So now put this back. After I put this back, then I'll try to pick this back up and get it on the engine stand. That's if I have the right bolts. I'm probably got to find some bolts. Of course, the bolts are a whole four mature. Put them back in here. If you have a problem trying to find bolts, then you'll get some starter bolts and they're long enough. And they'll work for you. 
So let's go ahead and put this little thing back down, push it in the corner, and try to get this other one put on here. this off of LS motor. The bell housing on a small block and the, the bell housing on a small block and the bell housing on the LS is all the same. Makes it nice. So if I don't like this 283 I can take one of these other power plants and sit down in there and still get her. That was tight. Alright we got our bracket mounted for engine stand. Go ahead and slide the engine stand on. And all this room I got in here. So, I ain't gonna bore you with that. Now, we're gonna get this transmission moved to the shed here. Huh. Should put that away. This cast iron beam is pretty heavy. These old chain are. And the engine hoist, then I can slide around that wooden there.
You just gotta see that train wreck out there. Okay. Getting worse. This looks is getting worse. All right, since we get some sunshine, we are going to power wash this motor and hopefully get the old go. So, I'll make my wife real proud. I'm gonna run this inside here and hook it to the faucet. Move back in here. Oh, yeah. You want to drive? Yeah, what are you doing here? Yeah, I need you to get it straight back. And then hold the brakes and I'll stick a wheel chuck. So you can do some steam genuine? Yeah, and then. May need you to help me position the tire. I'm not sure if we can push this inside or not. Do whatever.
Yeah, rescue some floor dry. Disregard. The first couple we'll go ahead and edit that out. <laughs> I can tell you. Where are we at there? I, don't, uh, I have one hand. Back into your car. Oh, blue ball. Too far. Oh, so. Too far? Yeah. Too far, too far. Okay, it's by the. Alright, turn it there. Move that, move that thing up against the back tire, buddy. So it won't roll back. Yeah, and go back in the blue Go back in. You guys are going to go hard. We don't want to crash into daddy or mommy's cars. Yeah. What are you going to call it? Or, or my car, even. But my or car. Or daddy. But, or daddy that be a hell of a for the oh, But listen, if daddy, daddy go pick up. Yeah, I should have flipped on him and said goodbye. But a big thank you to Donnie for helping me push this thing out and pushing it back in. It's all power washed now, all good and clean, ready to tear apart. Same with the uh, the motor here. Uh, right now, I'm going to take a little break. I don't know if I'll work on it again tonight or work on it tomorrow. I need to get some heat in this garage. I need to let everything dry out. Everything's soaking wet now, including my feet. So, we'll get back to this. I believe first we're going to do, we're going to tear this motor down and we're going to do the motor because I know motors. I don't necessarily, not very good at fab work. I mean, I took classes on it and stuff, but I'm not good at it. So it's going to take me some time to figure out this front end, so we'll tear into this motor. And go from there. That's a big wrench. Oh, Dang, go on. Mountain, my mind. 